Hello everybody and welcome to Luxury Benefits channel. My name is Sviatoslav and in this video I would like to talk about exercises for our eyes and about three groups of exercises for oculomotor muscle. Strengthening exercise for oculomotor muscles. Various exercises for the eyes form the basis of any collection and almost every newspaper or magazine article dedicated to improving vision. As a result, a stereotype has developed in the mass consciousness according to which any unconventional vision restoration system is based on the banal gymnastic for the eyes. And the more time a person spends such gymnastics, the better his eyes will function. This is one of the most dangerous false vision stereotypes. Really, mindless eye movements in different sides are of little help. Exercises for the eyes is only 5% of success in natural vision recovery program. You can really strengthen and develop the accumulator muscles only if there is an understanding of, of how this or those affects the eyes exercises, how and in what sequence to perform them. Eye exercises needed for gradual and consistent training of the oculomotor muscle, but without overloading and stress. In addition, a person must clearly understand which exercises are more suitable for him and gives the best effect. Of course, exercises can be selected based on the diagnosis also. However, I advise you to focus primarily on individual reaction and listen to your body until you have the opportunity to choose. I advise you to strictly observe the principles set out further, at least at the first stage of independent classes, while the eyes adapt to new programs. 3 groups of exercise for oculomotor muscle. So first let's figure out what kind of movements are capable of performing our eyes. First, we can look up and down, left and right, along diagonals. For starters, it's better to start 3 to 4 repetitions for each set of exercises. All these movements are external or extraocular eyes muscles. Secondly, our eyes can rotate and make circular movements in different sides and in different planes. And thirdly, the gaze can move from a close to a distant object almost at any distance. This is due to the ability of eyes to accommodation. Both the ciliary and external ocular muscles are responsible for this process, which proved by Dr. Bates. If the ciliary muscle located inside the eye and is responsible for the curvature of the lens, practically no trainable. The external ocular or extraocular muscles it's quite possible to develop and strengthen. And there is great hope in this and perspective for all visually impaired people who are told by doctors that with myopia or hyperopia nothing can be done. They say it is impossible nothing to make a far-sighted person if his ciliary muscle has become flabby and the least is hard and inelastic. Dr. Bates himself at one time faced a similar verdict of his colleagues and was able to prove them wrong by his own example, getting rid of age-related hyperopia. And it was proven already by the example of many people who didn't want to put on glasses and took time to care of their eyes. Based on the three main ways to move the muscle surrounding our eyeball, 
All exercise to strengthen the oculomotor muscle can be divided into three groups. This division is of course very conditionally since most exercises may not involve one, but two or three groups of oculomotor muscles at once. Exercises of the first group. Moving the relaxed eyes to the right and blink, to the left and blink to the center and blink, down and blink, up and blink to the center and blink and by diagonals and blink. When we blink and we removing stress from our eyes. Try to look without raising or lowering your head at the floor and at ceiling. Then without turning your head look at the right and left and blink as often as you can. After that, direct your gaze to the upper right corner and blink and then to the lower left corner and blink and to the center and blink. Make the same diagonal movements with the opposite directions. Look in the upper left corner and blink then in the right lower and blink and then to the center and blink. It's amazing that seemingly simple exercises like this have an effect not only strengthen the eye muscle, but also to improve memory. British scientists not so long ago found out that elementary eye movements from left to right and right to left help with memorizing words, numbers, dates and much more. According to the researchers, this is due to the fact that horizontal eye movements make you more active to interact with each other, and right and left hemispheres of the brain, which increases the amount of short term memory. His a medicine for a memory can be used instead of expensive pills and all kind of sophisticated recommendations. Exercises of the second group. Clockwise and counterclockwise eye movements, rotation, imaginary wheel, back and forth. Turning the virtual globe to the right and left around your head. All circular movements are done smoothly with relaxed eyes and blinks after each circle, without jerking with a gradual increase in the number of repetitions. When a feeling of discomfort appears in the form of cramps, dizziness, nausea, stop exercising immediately and rest. I must say that exercises to strengthen the second muscle group the most varied in execution options and most effective. They are the ones that enhance blood circulation inside better than other exercises. Our eyes and head activate the right hemisphere and remove stagnation in the capillaries. As you know, it is the violation cerebral circulation is the cause of dementia and many other diseases. So for those who doing exercises with their own eyes, sclerosis is not scare. <laughs> Exercises of the third group. The third muscle group works to stimulate accommodation process, that is the ability of the eyes to see objects at different distances. Exercise to strengthen the third group of the oculomotor muscle require some effort. Close your eyes tightly as if pressing the eyeball with your eyelids and pushing it with the muscles of the eye. Then open wide and bulge your eyes as if you want them to pop out. This exercise must be done at intervals. Close your eyes, open, then blink and rest for 30 seconds. Very important uh, here is the posture in which you do an exercise. When you close your eyes, tilt the body back. When open your eyes, move your body forward, then go back to starting position and rest.
sway doing exercises for the first two muscle groups. It is also possible and it's absolutely necessary to help yourself with the body in exercises of the third group. Make sure that when you close and open your eyes, the whole body moved, not just the head and neck. All of these exercises are only a base on which should build a balanced complex of gymnastics for eyes. In this case, it's necessary to alternate the exercises of all three groups and be sure to restrain yourself in the number of repetition. Each exercise perform 3, 4 and maximum 5, 6 times. Thanks for watching this video to the very end and I hope it will help you. Subscribe to my channel for more great benefits for your vision.